welcome to free i'm geraldine today we're going to talk about chemistry in this video we're going to talk about five things first why chemistry is so important then we're going to learn how to pronounce it we're going to learn how to spell it we're going to discuss our first thoughts about it i think that's very important and finally conclusion okay so first why is chemistry so important? Chemistry is very important because it's in everything. So, considering that you want to take IELTS and TOEFL, um, the topics that they talk about are uh, have a lot of science and biology. In order to understand science and biology, chemistry is extremely important. Chemistry is the base of it. If you get chemistry, then everything becomes easier. Okay, so chemistry is very, very important. Then, of course, if we're going to talk about chemistry, we need to know how to pronounce it and how to spell it. Okay, and pronunciation then. This is from a dictionary and it says chemistry. There are little differences in pronunciation, but basically how you pronounce them, how you pronounce the word is like this. Chemistry. Okay, chemistry. Now, you can repeat also, by the way, chemistry. Okay, so here we have uh, a dictionary, for example, or reference. We're gonna look for the word chemistry. And it will show us, and here we have um, the definitions, etc. But what we care about is today the pronunciation. And we can listen to it. Chemistry. chemistry. For example, right now we need to know how to spell it. This is a very important word. Sometimes we need to write it. If you write it, it shows the vocabulary you have. So, how do you spell chemistry? It's spelled C H E M I S T R Y. C H E M I S T R Y. Chemistry. Okay, now you know how to pronounce it and you know how to spell it. Now, I want to know, really know, your first thoughts about chemistry. Because the first thing you, that comes to your mind is what, you know, uh, defines your relationship with chemistry. And I need your relationship with chemistry to be a good relationship. Not a good relationship. I need it to be an excellent relationship. So, be honest and tell me and comment. What is your first thought when you think chemistry or when I say chemistry? What comes to your mind first? Maybe if I say chemistry, what comes to your mind is the chemistry you have with your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, whatever. That would be great because there will be a positive thought about chemistry and what we need is positive thoughts about chemistry. Now. If you think uh, chemistry, I felt an exam, well, that thought is not gonna help you. But please, tell me what is your first thought. Maybe your first thought is a chemical reaction or a, a formula, or maybe uh, an experiment you had at the school, or maybe an atom. I don't know, what is, what is the first thought that you have when chemistry comes to you? That is very important. Wherever that thought is, I need you to make it better, to make it positive. If it's already a positive thought, then make it more positive. So this is the conclusion. The first thing for you to learn chemistry and to understand chemistry is to think that chemistry is a good thing. Chemistry is a great thing. Once that is in your mind, or you're trying to get it into your mind, then you'll learn faster, you'll learn better, you're gonna enjoy learning it. Now, how can you do that? Because maybe you, your first thought is like chemistry, uh, awful, because it, it can be the case. So you can try to relate chemistry to something you like a lot. For example, a hamburger. <laughs> I'm hungry. So, if you try to relate, how can you relate chemistry to a hamburger? Well, the everything is chemistry, so there are lots of chemical components. Try to think that your hamburger 
is a beautiful product product of chemistry. That would be awesome. So that way you will start looking at chemistry as a, a great thing. Or maybe you like music a lot. So you try to relate uh, chemistry to the music. Also, then you can try to relate that thing you like a lot to learning chemistry. Sometimes it can be tedious if you're not into chemistry. Like, let's say you like music a lot and you you are familiar with a melody or the musical or the music so the the chords of the music maybe you can relate those music chords to uh, chemical components or chemical reactions and that way you will see chemistry in a different way once that happens we can start learning chemistry so please tell me what was your first thought and then how are you changing it how are you making it better and if you're ready for the next video about chemistry. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and see you soon.